Today we will start the fifth question. Now see the fifth question. In figure, if PQ is perpendicular to PS, this PQ is perpendicular to this PS, that means this angle is equals to 90 degree. Now PQ is parallel to SR, this PQ is parallel to this SR and angle SQR is equals to 28 degree, this angle is equals to 28 degree and angle QRT is equals to 65 degree. This angle is equals to 65 degree. Then find the values of x and y. We have to find the value of this x and this y. Now since it is given to us that PQ is parallel to SR. So extend PQ like this. Now PQ is parallel to SR and this QR is a transversal. You can extend it also like this. Okay. This QR is a transversal which is intersecting both the parallel lines. So these two angles will be alternate interior angles. This angle and this angle. These both angles are alternate interior angles. So they will be equal. So we can write angle PQR PQR is equals to angle Q R T. Okay. Now what is angle PQR? Angle PQR is equals to x plus 28 degree. So right here x plus 28 degree is equals to angle QRT is equals to 65 degree. So right here 65 degree. Now transpose 28 degree to the right hand side. x will be equals to 65 degree minus 28 degree. Then x will be equal to 65 minus 28 is 37 degree. So we got one value of our question. Now we have to find the value of y. So in triangle PQS this triangle PQS this angle we have 90 degree and this x also we found just now and we need the value of y. So we will apply angle sum property of a triangle. So angle S P Q plus angle X plus angle Y is equals to 180 degree. Now angle S P Q is also equal to 90 degree. So 90 degree plus value of X is 37 degree. Put it here. 37 degree then plus y equals to 180 degree why their sum is equals to 180 degree because of angle sum property of a triangle we know that sum of all the angles of a triangle is equals to 180 degree now 90 plus 37 is equals to 127 degree then plus y is equals to 180 degree now transpose this 127 to the right hand side so y will be equal to 180 degree minus 127 degree. Now y equals to 180 minus 127. Do it 180 minus 127. 10 minus 7 3. 7 minus 2 5. This 1 and 1 will be 0. So 53 degree is the value of y. So we can write y equals to 53 degree. This is the second part of our question. Now we got both the values of x and y. So at last we can write hence x equals to 37 degree this and y equals to 53 degree this. This is our answer. Thank you everyone. If you like my videos, please like, subscribe and share my channel and stay connected with A1 study classes.